All right, well, um, I'm going to be explaining a bit more about Boolean operators. Last time we learned about the if, we also learned about the while. We even learned something pretty hard called the do while. We're going to be learning a bit more about Booleans. So we already know, okay, Boolean B equals, um, it can only include true or false. We can do something, however. We can also do, um, because what's actually happening, if I'm sure I'll explain this, it's going to see if what's happening in here is true. So we could do if B equals true or, um, if B equals true, then do this, you know, whatever, then B equals false or something. Um, however, Booleans are special. Since Booleans already have true and false values, you can just do that and it'll test the value of B. So if B equals true, it'll just do this. So, and then you can system dot out dot print align. Um, LOL or something. And you do that with OL. So that's pretty simple. I don't really need to explain that too much. Um, let me show you something else. There are a lot of different types of operators. There's that, which will be um, equals. There is crap. Um, there's that, which is greater than. There's that, or this is greater than. So if something is greater than, then do that. This is less than. This is um, equals to or less than. This is equals to or greater than. And then there is one called not. So let me show you what not is because all this is pretty explanatory. The only, um, something for Booleans, Booleans can only have the equals or the not. Integers, strings, everything else. Actually, hold on. Integers and doubles can only have this stuff. Everything else will only use the equals or the not. Something we can do is so like let's say if um hold on let, let's make a string of or boolean so boolean b equals true. If boolean is not equal to false, which means if boolean is basically true, then you can do um blah or you know whatever. Something else you can do is let's say you had an integer. So we had an int b equals 25. If b is not equal to 25, you know, or you can do all your other ones greater than, in fact, actually it might be that way. Yeah, it's that way. So just remember it's that way. Anyways, I'm like, okay, if b equals 25, then do that. Or if b does not equal 25, there's another trick you can do with boolean. So let's say we had a boolean, b equals true. Okay? If, um, you know, if boolean equals true, or something else we can do, if boolean equals false. Or in other words, so if boolean is not true, then do this. Just practice around with it. It gets a little confusing at first. Then you can do low, 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 or something. And then there you go. Pretty simple, I hope, and I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial.